What's up, guys? This is Coach Vic, uh, Victor Bell from Warhorse Strength Camp, creator of the Champion Development Academy and Unstoppable Champion. You know, I wanted to connect with you guys uh, to kind of continue on with some of the things that I was talking about. And this is something that um, I noticed when I was putting together the Champions Fall to Greatness. So you figure what I've actually connected with people on are listening to the voices that you are a champion moving forward with those uh, with those feelings that you have in yourself, whether those feelings that you have in yourself uh, the voices that you constantly hear telling you that you can do better, you are what you say you are, or not listening to those voices that tell you that you can't do it, and then somebody else is also getting voices saying, hey, this kid is special, this person is special, this person is supposed to be performing at a higher level, and they're not. Um, we do that a lot as parents. I know a lot as, as, a, as a dad, I look at my kids, and I'm like, man, I'm so proud of you guys, and they're like, dad, I didn't do anything, and in my mind, I'm like, man, what you do is it's exponential in comparison uh, to anything that I've done at you guys' age, um, as well as some of the stuff I look at what other people's kids are doing and you teenagers and young adults, all these different things. And I'm like, man, you guys fucking be happy, man. Celebrate your wins when you do have them. Um, so what I wanted to go over now when we talked about listening to the voices and then um, accepting the fact that there's going to be some resistance to your rise to the top, like meaning that that resistance that creates the strengthening of who you need to be could be um, a saying yes and right now moving forward to into the direction of, of the things that you want to get you where you say you're going to go as a champion, as a winner, um, playing at a top level. That resistance sometimes isn't always a win. That resistance is saying yes to accepting the challenge of getting the opportunity to win that gets you where you need to go sometimes that adds the strength that adds the condition that you need to be playing at the top level of where you want to go be it business be it being a better father being a better provider being a better husband being a better man being a better man of god in those instances um so what i wanted to kind of connect with you guys on today was getting crowned being the champion really winning uh, winning being deemed the champion that you know that you have been told You've already taken the opportunities to apply resistance in your life to gain the strength necessary to, to bear the crown, to wear the championship belt, and then also accepting the fact that there's going to be flashing lights, meaning like when I say flashing lights, guys, I'm talking about being in the public eye, being now the person that says, oh shit, this guy won, look at him. And all, all the people sometimes who didn't believe in you on the way to the top will be around the winning circle want to take pictures with you, want to shake your hand, tell you they always believed in you. And sometimes, man, it's just not the case and you know it. Let them be. Let them have their moment and bask in the sunshine. Because sometimes being the champion isn't always shunning the people who didn't believe in you. Sometimes it's accepting the fact that those people also added value to your rise to the top and your level of resistance necessary to get there. And they were also an integral part of that plan. Um, because sometimes, sometimes... The flashing lights, the walk down the red carpet, the walk back to your dressing room is necessary to remind and solidify that you are where you need to be for this moment in time and you earned it. The flashing lights is not designed to give you an ego. The flashing lights is, rem is really a confirmation sometimes to where you are where you need to be, that the crowd is there for you to support you as long as you are operating in operating in your walk of design of where you need to be that's confirmation uh it's not the belt around your waist it's the flashes it's the things that you look back you ever watch some guy win they burst into tears they cry they thank jesus they think their mom their dad they think all these people on the team they think so many people some of the people are minuscule some people are like oh shit he said my name we look at that and go man this guy's crying he must be this he must be that that flash of light is a reminder that you got to where you needed to go based on the steps that it took to get there, the resistance that created the strength level, listening to the voices, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, not an egotistical I knew it, but man, I felt it in my heart, my soul, I prayed for this, God stepped up and showed me where I needed to be, what I needed to do, how I needed to get there, uh, all along, and it's confirmation, enjoy the flashing lights as a champion, and understand those flashes of lights flash from all different spectrums of life. They're not just people who enjoy you. They're also people who didn't enjoy you. And you need to also be mindful that they exist as well. Not in a bad way. Service those people with the championship too. 
be a person of integrity that you can say, yeah, I know that I had some resistance along the way, that I'm in a light of acceptance of everyone and it's appreciated and also that is not going to define and or defile who I have become to get here. Bear that in mind. And the other side to that is continue to accept the fact that there's another challenger always flapping in the wind. That challenger may not be a person that may be a loved one that is acceptance of where you are that now is reaching out for your help. And now you have a decision to make to maintain where you are, whether to help them by letting them ride and skate and skate or help them by providing them a way for them to see the champion in themselves based on what you've been able to achieve and still grow. Uh, Victor Bell, I wanted to shoot that out to you. Enjoy everything that's there. Go back to the other videos. Look at what we're talking about. I'll begin to piece all these things together at a head in a bit. Um, show the world that you are the champion, that you are fucking unstoppable at the things that you decide to do, the things that you deem important, and I'll continue to provide a venue to help you constantly show that you are who you say you are. Victor Bell, WarhorseStrengthCamp.com or WarhorseStrength.com. Check us out at War Strength Camp. Um, I'm the creator of uh, Champion Development Academy where I help champions win at what matters most in their field of play. Hit me up. Latest.